Hi guys, welcome back to Lee and Toon's channel in Thailand. And today I'm just going to do a bit of a recap what happened uh, in the first year of me living in Thailand full time and the progress that we've made on the farm. So let's jump straight into it. Uh, first off, middle of December 2018, I finally hung up my instructing spurs and moved full time to Thailand. Uh, the first couple of weeks was spent at their village house while building progress was ongoing here. We then had the solar installed. Of course, once they inst started installing that, it's quite expensive system. Uh, we needed to stay down here. So there were no bedrooms ready in the house. Toon and I ended up sleeping in here. Just me and Toon in this room, Bambi on guard outside. Uh, today we just use it as a bit of a, a junk room. We've got our generator sitting here. So that's our backup. Um, if and when the solar drops out and we bulk buy some of the animal feed as well. Bits and bobs that we don't want to throw out. They're just all stockpiled in here. Bits of metal, pipe work, wood, so on and so forth. So we were in here for about two months. Uh, yes, we had a little bit of solar power, um, but Toon was cooking on uh, charcoal outside and uh, she just rigged up a little kitchen just out here in front of uh, her father's JD. It was a great time. Um, what I particularly liked about it was, as well as eating outside all the time, which we do nearly every night anyway, um, was you get up just before it gets light, no need for an alarm, uh, and then nearly every night we were, we were hunting on the farm, uh, getting frogs and fish and all sorts. So after that, the house got to a, a certain point where we could move in, move out of the garage and move into the house. <clears throat> it's been well documented, fellas, that we had lots of issues with the house. Um, good friends built it. Um, so it was a little bit awkward, uh, but we've got over it. We're all friends. Uh, I don't think anything can be quite the same for the main guy who was building it, but hey ho, you, you live and learn. Um, We've got a huge property. Well, in our eyes, it's huge. In hindsight, we'd have probably gone for a little bit smaller and saved a few baht, but hey ho. Once we moved down here, we bought Klopp and Spoon down here. So prior to that, while we were in the garage, Toon and I were just here with Bambi and the Klopp and Spoon were back taking care of the village house. So they were down here. That was fun and games, integrating them. Um, this angel house we actually had completed, but it's the first thing we constructed on site. Very happy with that. Um, next up came the poultry. We had 13 chickens at the village house. We brought those down here. And just take my shoes off, you can't walk up here in your shoes. And started to con quickly construct the shanty town see in the distance there for our 13 chickens so they became free-range chickens we then bought another 17 no we bought another seven um, didn't do very well with them we've still got I think six of them uh, they just refused to lay for so long just recently started to uh, get a lot more chicken eggs since we've uh, segregated the turkeys. So we bought turkey, two turkeys, three silky chickens, um, and we kicked off with uh, 20, 28 Kaki Campbell cut ducks. Two of them are males, and they're the ones that are down the fence pond, not the ones here. These were an initial 100 that we bought off a guy online on Facebook. So remember, use that for to do your searches, guys. 
make sure you type it in and tie and you'll get some brilliant results in there uh, we also set up this little frog pond in here uh, there are some frogs still in there uh, but the main thing is it's a it's a little crash for uh, for the former Muscovy ducks we had to replace the boy the Drake Muscovy he had a perforated lung Toon's autopsy revealed so uh, that was tank he was called tank because I thought he was so big the one we've got now is twice the size and he's called Trump because of his comb over increased our puppy flock um, of course we, it's well documented again we, we, we unfortunately had to say goodbye to Bambi uh, no doubt the downside of the uh, of the year for both of us that hit us both hard I started growing some veg so this was where the chilli challenge was won so Captain Kirk you can stop doubting me now. I only needed one chili to win. There's plenty there. Started growing some more chilies down here. This is our first lot of lettuce. Toon's got something cheeky planned for that. Uh, she saw on Facebook someone growing them um, in banana trees. So we're drilling a very, very small hole uh, and then popping the roots in there. So we'll give that a go. <coughs> Uh, we're just starting doing a asparagus bed down here and then the foot long beans are doing very well as are the papayas so nearly all our papayas, papayas are transplanted I know it is quite hard to do it guys well a lot of people think it's quite hard I don't know whether we're just lucky or whether the papayas out here just respond very well um, to being transplanted so uh, give it a go we've also got some uh, palms growing in there the fruit trees have progressed very very well uh, we've just started installing an irrigation system now the dry season's just uh, kicked in so we won't have to be watering these fruit trees um, every other day there's been a lot a lot of hardcore a lot of old building materials to clear and concrete and everything's been just thrown in here over the years before we purchased the land there were two very very old dilapidated houses that were just knocked down really uh, this was an absolute jungle um, it did have some bamboo along here as well, but it was a uh, snake infested country. It was it was a bit of a scary place. So this is our boys town We're now down to five drakes. We did a quite quite a few more, but now they're a good size And words got out that we do have good sized drakes for sale uh, We've got five cockerels down there as well. They're just being fattened up so this, the idea was to, to use the ducks, the boy ducks and the, the cockerels to, to clear this area. This is going to be a big vegetable patch. Happy with the toilet block? That's still not finished. All the pipe works in there, two toilets are in there as well. We just wanted to get all the buildings, all the outbuildings in place first. Skinny beans progressing very, very well. Been using my um, organic pest control. So recently we've spotted aphids. Did just spray them a couple of days ago. So hopefully, and I will be honest, if I do see a, a batch still here or come back, I will show you but they're looking clean as a whistle. Spoke too soon, here we go then, just a few. That was all black two days ago. So, got a video of the, uh, the organic bug spray, does work very well. This is the bed that we've been using for growing the papaya seedlings and then moving them out. They're getting a little bit tall now 
but we've put so many in yeah, it's fine the chaom is doing very very well that's getting watered and fed all the time chilies we have not got enough chilies uh, it's partly to do with Toon's terrible effort of growing them <coughs> um, I think around here I just haven't put enough um, proper soil and uh, poultry poo in there I mean we still get a fair a fair few but like most my oh, something's eating that see oh you're yeah, numpty so we've been nibbling the end there these are good little chilies these are the bananas never fail to amaze me um, we've started cropping them to eat uh, the leaves we use as mulch uh, around the bases of them and around everywhere uh, around other plants and then the main stems here we use for feed because we've got that shredder when we've got the video for that um, and then the old trees uh, after they've fruited we uh, shred those as well we're also getting lots of free trees banana trees from people in the village as well they don't want anything for them they just say if you want them come and cut them down and you can take them away the galangal is looking good but it's slowed up a little bit and I presume it's because uh, the roots have now probably expanded or the heads have grown and and now they're getting into the uh, the stony soil so they have slowed we put another line in in proper soil and um, I, I dare say this time next year that will be flourishing far better than this but really it's 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 done better than I thought it would Toon said it would do all right I went with it and uh, had my doubts so uh, yeah sometimes you just don't know you've got to give it a go if it fails hey ho um, I mean check out the papayas here these are about 10 days been transplanted I put quite a few in there not a single one dead okay. we had four fish ponds dug that was very exciting time um, we paid a visit to a poor pang farm style setup uh, in a place called Tamakur and uh, this is what really whetted our ep uh, appetite for for this sort of design so we've got the banana trees around the outsides uh, the coconut trees on the corners we've got a few papayas we've put in uh, and this is the latest addition we've done a huge line all the way down straight to the straight down to the far end near coco chanel don't forget her and uh, and right across here so we've got a nice big square of papayas and we're also squeezing them in on the shelves around the edge growing lots of lemongrass because uh, don't forget we've got lemongrass goes with the galangal and it goes with the kaffir lime leaves that we're growing so we can sell them as a bundle which is quite popular uh, the fish a lot of the stock we bought from the village house so the common tilapia went into here about 50 there's now about 5 billion in there can't eat them quick enough in here we've got the pink tilapia a tab tim and bada pn which is like a, a silver barb or if you're from the from europe like a, a roach bream hybrid looking thing then we bought a thousand well, we bought a thousand baduk, the Thai catfish, and got 200 free. We put them in here. Uh, had a nice little order for 3 kg day before yesterday. Um, On to this one. This has got some beautiful fish in here. It's mostly uh, fish that we use for, for food now. Um, what we've done is uh, take out the, the, the best tilapia and put them in here when I say the best the best shape size coloration uh, and then we put some tapatim in here and sorry some bad in here 
but there's the Bachon. Um, what else is there? The climbing perch, the Dr. Fish. Uh, da, 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 da. What else? There was something else. Oh, and Babur, which is a um, like a big snake head carnivorous. Why are you putting carnivorous with fish that you want to eat? Well, the fish that we've put in there to eat were too big for the, the predators to eat anyway. Um, did set up bug lights. We had a bad start, uh, storm, forgot that they were out here, all got smashed to pieces. So we need to replace those when we can. Uh, here, let's took a bit of a back seat. We've got it all prepped to grow our first crop of organic rice, but we had to move the blue net round here to get it clear. And then we used it for Boys Town. So we need to get another net, um, a net round here. So it's all greened up. It's all soft leaf stuff. All the all the sugar cane hasn't come back or anything like that. Uh, the ducks will go back in here for about a month. So although it stood empty for about a month, the ducks will get a good, ooh, I don't know. It will give them about two months food here and then we won't have to give them hardly any lunch. Run the uh, solar power down to our submersible pump in the well that was already on the property. The army came and dug this before we even bought the place and uh, so it's dry season now so he, he dropped about six inches original banana trees have come through this thick layer of rock and stone that's been put all around the the ponds and doing very well we transplanted wild growing small eggplant they're like a pea and look at them Fantastic. Some of them have got a bit diseased and a bit leggy, so uh, I've chopped some of them and then they got the organic spray uh, the last couple of days, so they're picking up now. We've also started our palm, palm nut farming. So nine meters in between each one. We haven't done anything else down here. We've put a Another line of galangal down here, and another line of bananas, and some lemongrass. Um, but there's still quite a bit of room on that strip there. We were going to take Toon's dad's old palm out of there because it didn't do, wasn't doing very well, and it's been in there for quite a few years. But I don't know why it just feels wrong to take it out, and it is the position of it's quite nice. So I've cut it hard it right back and giving it loads of duck shit out of the, uh, the fence pond there and uh, it's definitely perked up a little bit but it's still early days so in the fence pond there we've got our uh, 27 ducks we, we lost one duck unfortunately don't know what happened to her and then we got Vince and his two lady friends the, uh, the three white geese in there they take care of themselves we've had no problems with poachers at all apart from one guy um, going up to the uh, the fence at night and shining his torch in. We know who he is and uh, he knows we know and guess what he hasn't been seen back on our land at all. So security wise, poaching wise, brilliant. It was probably our biggest concern. The main area that we planted up with the palms they've taken off brilliantly. Thank you very much chickens and quail and ducks for all your poo that's doing well this is just excellent uh, plans for that are the irrigation system uh, we've got about a rye and a half of eucalyptus that's coming up here we did four lines of corn i wouldn't say it was an epic fail uh, but we have learned that you're not supposed to put them in lines but saying that we it did all fruit and we did get all cobs on I would say about 90-95% of the corn that was grown um, but we grew it far too thickly so the core the, the cobs are, are quite small and deformed but it tastes like corn and it looks like corn smells like corn so it bloody must be corn um, but that's that's something to take away for next year over the far end re, if you saw one of the recent videos the bamboo is doing very well our initial 
eucalyptus that we put in before we even moved there moved here sorry I just put my little digit on there that's it all along there they're about a year and a half two years old so we've got those stretching all the way around the start the, the perimeter of the property whether we'll put them all round the 50 rye or not I don't know uh, one of the highlights of the year for me personally was the eight days that we had a macro here digging the start of my boyhood dream the very own fishing lake I was lucky enough to be allowed to sit in there for about an hour hour and a half it was like the bloody Millennium Falcon guys it was fantastic uh, it hurt a little bit because there wasn't any cushioning and um, it didn't half throw you around but oh my god talk about boys toys it was fantastic why didn't you vlog it Lee you muppet because the bro uh, the GoPro camera was proper proper dead I should have just took me me camera in there and gone with that uh, but it was before I decided to use the, the, the phone so eight days of digging around here why haven't we dug the whole lot well it's 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 just too expensive so now we are stuck with a, a canal barge holiday resort no <clears throat> it is gonna get all dug for free um, and the soil will be taken away and repurposed for worthwhile projects like temples schools um, all that sort of stuff but it takes time so uh, very excited we're not getting despondent I, I can wait another bloody year if it's gonna get dug for free bloody crack on so um, what we've done we've thinned out the fish ponds and put them all in well I don't know a couple of thousand fish in here which is nothing for the size that it is uh, haven't seen any signs of poaching in here at all Ripped a load of sugar cane out some of it's still there the uh, epic Caesar versus sugar cane battle another highlight for me. I bloody loved that uh, it, In fairness, it was a lot more hard work doing that video um, than any other video I could I could have probably done about five videos that it took me uh, to do that one but so when I've looked at it a couple of times and with the music as well I, I just think it's <laughs> well I think it's quality some may disagree uh, why didn't we just leave the sugar cane in there and crop it well there's not really enough and it does attract people to um, poach so they you know the well hidden it's it's also quite a bit of a fire hazard uh, if you've ever seen sugar cane being burnt you'll, you'll know what I mean um, so people come in here and set uh, rat traps and uh, they're just out of shot so that that's that's the reason we don't want to do sugar cane plus the fact it's it's bloody hard work and uh, it's something that me and Toon wouldn't want to have a go at ourselves I don't know if we'll be giving the lake a name, uh, probably not. Someone did suggest many moons ago calling it Pamela Anderson Lake because it's got so many curves. <laughs> uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, we're also still undecided of the actual design. So we've got, we've got the outline shape, um, but when it's excavated out in the middle, we're undecided whether to leave one, two or three small islands that you could moor a little raft up to and fish from there or whip them out or just leave one and create one large island and that, that's the one that sounds most exciting to me I'd be interested in your opinions and make a sort of like Robinson Crusoe Swiss Family Robinson Bear Grylls-esque survival island where we could plant stuff up for you to forage yourselves so if your missus is tie or your partner's tie, then you'll be a, 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 an advantage there. If you're a flang on your own, you'll probably poison yourself or starve yourself to death. Um, but what about the idea of us leaving you basic cooking, kitchen stuff, um, you know, fresh water, 
ice delivered here every day, that sort of thing. I don't know, it's, uh, it's something to consider. Either that or we're just, funds allowing, we'll pop um, a little bit of accommodation dotted around the lake, I don't know. Maybe a mixture of the two, if Toon wins the lottery. Toon signs seem to have had the desired effect about keeping people off the land. Now you're not allowed on here even to take a piss. So uh, zero tolerance seems to be the way to go, unfortunately. When you first come to Thailand and stay rurally, I don't know, my first thoughts were, I want to get a bloody fence all the way around, be out with my torch every night, making sure we've got no herbits and bin dippers. But uh, no, once you're here for a year or so, you start to relax and uh, you can see that it's most of it is through uh, your own fear about well from me from one or two experiences when we weren't living here full time and we were just asking to uh, be poached now we're here uh, it, to me in my opinion I, I just don't think it's worth anyone's risk to come and steal something um, because the consequences are quite bad not on about Toon's catapult on their Swede um, I'm on about you know the would absolutely uh, go for the jugular financially and penalty wise with the police if uh, someone did do something naughty right round here was where we had our first stab at doing the rice and that was up and down we were very happy with the crop we just couldn't bloody get it out in time the combines wouldn't come back the day it was supposed to be here and help us it broke down and then they weren't in the local area they said they're not coming back for two rye which is fair dues we were getting it done after someone else's so most of it was cut by hand uh, and then separated by motorbike another one of our favorite videos um, and then all the, the, the soft weeds coming back again but I don't know it may be a bit daunting for some people when they they first come in like you've got a bloody jungle mate well you how are you gonna clear that it's gonna take you years it's not it's all wet in there you just get a tractor and fold it all in and then uh, and then pump the water out so for us we can pump water out the lake now and just totally submerge it all the other issue we have um, we'd filled the back end of the property up with eucalyptus, quite a few rye, um, but we've got like really tough grass weed, the stuff that they make the, uh, the roofs out of, and this stuff here. So I think it's through the, the land being rented out for so many years and people not, I don't know, keeping on top of it. So there's a lot, a lot of rough rough old weeds in there that are quite stubborn to get to get rid of we've tried tractoring we've tried spraying it's not really um, getting to grips with it so the plans are to increase our um, palm palm tree numbers so we've still got quite a few rye of eucalyptus right at the back of the property then we're going to have a couple of hundred um, palm nut trees here, uh, palm oil nut trees, uh, and then it will be rice again here. Remember the reason that we do rice is for our animals and that the, the land is too wet. We have also contemplated if we can get the work done um, at the right price, namely free, of um, digging little what could we say little canals so I won't say little canals lines of horizontal lines of canals and in between have some higher soil and put lines of palm that way so I think that would look really cool as well but that's something in the future and all the white flowers you can see around here the morning glory or pak bong free food for our poultry they get this or banana trees 
uh, or a mixture of the two every single day. It helps feed our animals and cut the, the price down of the feed immensely. When you start keeping poultry, and I will do some more videos on them, if, uh, if you don't look at, at ways of padding out the expensive food, feeding poultry is, is very expensive and yeah, your profit margin is reduced drastically. So uh, you've got to keep your you've got to keep your birds happy. We all know that, don't we, guys? So we're almost done a lap of the uh, the lake. You see, if you were on, into the carp fishing scene, you'd have your carp sack barrow, wouldn't you? And you pick this peg on the other bloody side of the, the lake. You don't be doing that when it's 40 degrees. Someone has come up with a, a, a really good idea. They kindly sent us an email saying, have you ever thought of um, glamping pods? Now I did look at these when we were in the UK. Um, not, not with a, an idea of perhaps utilizing them in, in Thailand, but I was just interested. I saw something on the TV. I, I think they're brilliant. Um, but it would be another thing that I'm interested to hear from you fellas. Would it be something that you would consider the problem being, is no aircon in those. So, uh, yeah, we could rig up some solar, not a problem, for uh, the, like fans and, and lights, so you can charge your phone as well, that sort of stuff. But it wouldn't be enough power for aircon. But glamping pods, uh, would it be something that you think might work? I don't know. It's got to be cheaper than setting up a. Um, uh, bungalows everywhere. The coconut trees that Toon's dad grew many moons ago, never been a single coconut on them. And this year, for some reason, most of them are fruiting. And uh, you may have seen the uh, woman versus coconut or Toon versus coconut. We've had a few of those, um, but they're, they're, a, they're a good item to sell as well. And of course, they're great to be used in the kitchen. Uh, this is where we did our wild swimming and Toon's non-existent Team Thailand Chili Challenge. She's got it in her head in the moment that she wants to get a couple of goats and just let them loose on that island. Uh, I think they would get poached. Mind you, how you get two goats off an island, I, I don't know. This bit down here, this really needs sorting out. That's where Toon's dad's old bananas are in here. Uh, there's a few mice sack trees as well. Oh, we'll be leaving those in there, quite a few years old now. This is where we've got most of our stock for growing our bananas on our, on our land. We've got touching 100 bananas now. And I think we've bought 15, maybe 20 of those. The rest have come from round here. So, brilliant. I think we're up to five, five varieties of bananas now. There's still a few more to go. There's one variety that looks quite pretty, but it's incredibly slow growing compared to the others. The lap is complete. I can't go around the whole bloody land, it will be a three hour video. And there's only weeds and eucalyptus to see further afield. But hopefully that's given you a bit of a, an idea on how we've allocated areas of the, of the farm and, and what we're growing. So I'll do a, another, another video on uh, the main plans and progress another six months or so okay one last thing a uh, bit of a sour note if you're watching this video not on YouTube then you're watching it on someone's website that's nicked it off us I was on Google yesterday doing a, a bit of fiddling <coughs> and uh, went to check a few things there are saw loads of our videos. Wow, oh, brilliant. That's we're really easy to find. Uh, all on people's other bloody websites. Uh, now, a couple of them 
did link to YouTube, so I'm I'm not too bothered about that. That's fine um, because they still come to the channel then. But the other people or the other websites are bloody parasites, guys. You know, um, I don't mind putting time and effort into doing the channel and and making videos, but when someone and they just they even had the wild swimming one on. It was just one after another. Uh, Bloody SD cards full on my GoPro, so I've just had to switch over to my phone. A good uh, vlogger would uh, go back and empty his SD card out and, and then... Oh, good air! Uh, and we, I would carry on recording with that, so you might get a bit of wind noise on the phone. So I, I can't remember exactly where I was, but we might have a bit of overlap on what I've just said. I, d I really don't mind putting time and effort into uh, creating these videos. And of course it takes some time out of Toon's Day as well to do it, but we do we do enjoy doing it, don't get us wrong, but for someone just to bloody pillage uh, our creations, it is infuriating. So I don't know what we need to do about it to get it sorted. Um, if some of you have got some ideas or you, you know the best course of action, uh, I mean some of these websites haven't even got a sort of contact us details, I don't know where we stand. Um, if someone use, uh, downloads our videos and puts them on YouTube, then YouTube give them a strike straight away and they notify us. But these aren't YouTube. There's a lot of foreign channels that are... Uh, have well, not, I'm not... Don't exaggerate. There's a few foreign channels that have nicked our videos. And then what they've done, they've, in, they've embedded our videos into their own video player on their site. So... Uh, yeah, like I said, if any of you are watching through that, that media, um, please bin it off. There's just a bunch of parasites, and you're also missing out on a, on a great comment section. So, uh, that'll do. That's, that's enough whinging, because uh, I've, I've quite enjoyed um, doing this video. It's helped me recall some of, the, some of the highlights of the year. Oh, and I've forgotten the biggest highlight of all. He's having a bloody tractor. What a girl, Caesar. Of course, we still have Merlin. Um, Toon's big brother is coming here in the new year. Um, he's going to swap over an engine for us because it needs a, a, a quite a bit of work doing on it. Uh, he's got a, an engine which is smaller, but big enough for what we need. He's going to swap them over and, and get them running. And uh, he's going to take the big one away and get that fixed and use that to to move a lot of water on his farm so uh, Merlin will be up and running and uh, Caesar was a little bit sick after uh, Caesar vs Sugarcane epic battle but uh, yeah she's uh, what a what a machine so that's it from us and our angel thanks for uh, joining us on our, our journey this this first year I know we'd been um, vlogging sort of like six months before that but we do uh, we do enjoy your comments and uh, thanks for all those that have started sharing our videos. Uh, we, can, we can't see who's doing it but we can see that there's a few of you doing it now and uh, that, that does help us, believe you me. Okay, from us and the Campbells, ta-da for now.